Hello everyone, Hamoud here from Retarget Common YouTube channel. And this will be continuation of Recessor end-to-end framework playlist video series. In this video, we are going to learn how can we create a POJO to create a request payload for our API. So there are actually multiple ways of creating a request payload. You can use Java objects like map or list for creating a JSON payload. Or you can use third party libraries like JSON or JSON to serialize and deserialize JSON. You can also use JSON string or you can use a .json file as well. It all depends what is your requirement or what is best suitable for your requirement. So in this video, we are going to learn how can we use the POJO classes to create a request payload for our API. So POJO stands for plain old Java object and seriously it doesn't have any rules like we need to have any private properties, we need to have getters and setters, those are not requirements actually but people are following that. So let's jump to IntelliJ and whatever test cases we have written, here we are creating the payload using map or string right. We know that to create an airline we need to pass these values right so what we are going to do we are going to create a new class which will call it pojo class to have these fields so let me go and create a new package under the test package okay and since we have already package here with airlines i will create an inner package okay and i will name it as pojos let me create a new class here and i can name it give any meaningful name so it will be airline so again, there's no specific rules that how you need to create the POJO. You can have the public fields, you can have private fields. It all depends on you. There's no such requirements. We are going to have the properties as private so that we can use the getter setters and builder pattern from Lombok. So first let me add all those fields. So I think for everything this string except the ID and established. So let me quickly add all those fields here. You can see here that I have added all my properties here and these properties are required to create an airline. So now since these fields are private, so obviously we need some getters and setters method. Okay, so that we can get the value and set the value. In fact, we require those methods to serialize and deserialize actually from JSON object to Java object and Java object to JSON object. So either you can write all those getters and setters explicitly or you can use the Lombok. If you remember in at the starting of this framework, I have already added dependencies for Lombok and Jackson. You can see like Jackson data bind dependency and we have also Lombok, right? Yeah. So we have already added two dependencies. So let's use the annotation provided by Lombok to have our getters and setters. So let me go to airline POJO class and let me simply add getters and setters. So instead of writing because we need some uh, constructors also. So instead of that, what we are going to do, we are going to use a consolidated annotation called data. And if you go to this uh, data annotation, you can see that it is like combination of getters, setters, required args, constructor, two string and equals and hash code. So all these five annotation, we can use only one annotation called add data. And also I am going to use the add builder annotation which will help us to create the request payload in efficient manner. And already I have covered this concept in this episode concept playlist series. In that playlist I have already explained what is Lombok how can we use the add data annotation or getters or setters or how can we eliminate the boilerplate code and also I've explained how can we use the add build annotation to create the request payload. If you have not watched those videos, please go and watch so that you can understand this video much better. But this is simple thing. We need to use two annotation, add data and add builder. Data annotation will help you to generate the getters and setters and builder annotation will help you to create the request payload more efficiently. So let me go and create the request payload using this POJO class now. What I'm going to do since we are following a pattern, all the payload related code I am putting inside the payload.java and what I'm going to do, let me go and create a new method. It will be public, static and instead of return type here you can see we are using the map to create the payload. So I'm returning the map but this time I'm going to return the POJO instance that will be airline, airline instance and I can write get create airline payload from POJO. Here you have multiple options. You can have, you can accept the arguments and you can create the payload using those values or you can use automatic or random data generator to generate the payload. Let me use the random data generator for this. Let me to create a request payload using the builder notation, we need to use airline dot builder. 
then you will have like id everything you will get here okay then name you can see right every method is coming dot then we have country everything is coming just need to set the values logo slogan headquarters website established and at the last you just need to use the build method and this will return you an object of uh, airline pojo let me return this object that's all you need to do so let me go and simply copy the values from here and paste it below So only for id it requires an integer but this get render number is returning a string so let me convert this to integer for this you can use the integer dot parsint and similarly for establish i need to pass a string but the get render number is returning me int value so let me convert to a string so we can use the string class dot value of so we have new methods ready which will give you a pojo request for airline let me go and use this payload in our test case so if i go to airline dot airline test dot java and instead of calling this method let me call the new method which to which will give me a pojo request and the return type will not be map anymore we need to use airline type now if you see this method is giving the error create airline if i go to this method here you can see that it is accepting one map but what we are passing we are pa passing and passing a java object so obviously this method will not work so let me simply overload this method as well. and instead of map what i'm going to do i will use airline so now next method is giving me error like rest it will dot perform you post if you go to this method and you can see here whatever perform post method we have one is taking the string payload another is taking map payload so again i need to overload this method so let me copy this and paste it below and instead of map what i'm going to do instead of specifying we cannot specify any particular class type here because this rest it will come under the framework part right if you see the rest utils method this is uh, sorry class it is under the src main java so obviously i cannot create a method like airline because this is not a good practice right we cannot have any project dependent dependency in the framework code so what do we can do instead of using the map i can use object okay and i can name it as like request payload as pojo okay any name you can give in the same same name you need to replace it here you can see here there is no changes in the code whatever code we have here whatever code we have here same code we have here as well okay but we have now three methods one perform post will take the string payload another will take the map payload and another will take the object payload but the remaining but the internal implementation is same so obviously this is called duplicacy of code that will rectify in our upcoming videos but as of now i have simply created this overloaded method now i am going to use this method here in the airline test okay now you can see there is no error so we need to use the maven command so let me go to my maven runner and you must have seen my previous video where i have configured this runner this runner configuration where i am passing the environment and all right so let me run this code and let's see what happens now so if you see the execution result here you can see here it is failed let me see why what is the reason of failure it is giving the number format exception if you go to this line of code here which is like generating the random number to pass an id let me see what is the id here you can see it is generating this id right and if you see carefully here we are generating a random number of digit 10 right so whatever string it has generated actually it is out of range of in data type in java that's why we are getting this number format exception what we can do as of now we can simply reduce it from 10 to 6 okay and this will solve our problem but if you want to solve it permanently or if you have any restriction where you need to have the id of length 10 and more digit you can go and use the big integer so here simply i reduce the count 
so if i run the test case now so it should pass this time okay you can see the build is successful now let me go and open the report you can see here an id generated of length 6 and it is creating an airline successfully let me show you one more thing if you see the pojo class called airline.java so here we added the annotation like add data and add builder let me show you how the dot class file will be generated for this so simply you can go to target package and go to test hyphen classes inside this you will have one package called pojos and you can go to airline if you go to this class you can see that this is like compiled code we have all these fields okay and since inside the add data we have all arcs constructor so it is created one constructor as well and it has we have also used add builder annotation so it is adding all those builder code like right? these are boilerplate code if you are not using that annotation you need to manually write all these codes which is not easy right you can see it is also have equals method and it also has has code overload overridden methods okay so you can go and see this like how intention will help you to just remove the boilerplate code i will push this code to my github repo you can clone the repo from there and practice it if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone